many years ago when I moved to a new church, several weeks after I'd come, uh, some families with youth came to see me and they said, Brother John, we have a problem with our youth group. And I'm thinking, oh gosh, I've just been there a few weeks. I don't want to deal with problems yet. And I said, yeah. They said, on Wednesday nights, the kids are going to First Baptist Church. Then and I got to tell you, internally, I kind of heaved a sigh of relief. And I said, so you're telling me they go to church at our church on Sunday, and then they go on Wednesday night to the Baptist Church. And I go, that's right. And I go, is that a problem? I said, last time I checked, Baptists are Christians. And they kind of looked at me like, really? It's okay? And I said, yes, it's okay. Now, later on, we developed a Wednesday night program. I won't lie to you. But one of the things I think is unique about our particular brand of church and our our church locally is I'm going to use the word we are ecumenical. That is, we reach out to other bodies of Christ. We don't try to say we're better or we're more important or we're the best. We just want to be part of the family of God. In Ephesians chapter 2, Paul says something very similar to this. Consequently, you are no longer foreigners and strangers, but fellow citizens with God's people, also members of his household, built on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets with Christ himself as the chief cornerstone. In him, the whole building is joined together and rises to become a holy temple to the Lord. Now, that word household is where you get the word ecumenical. It's, it's based on the word house, which means we're all part of God's house, all part of God's family. You know, during the, one of the terrible wars of religion in, um, in the medieval times, there arose a, a response to the violence. And the response was this, that even if we can't all think alike, in essentials, unity, in non-essentials, liberty, and all things love. It's one of my favorite statements, and I think it illustrates and, and is illustrative of our church. In essentials, we want to be united. We want to unite with all the churches in the world in honoring Jesus Christ, and honoring the Father, and honoring the Son, is seeing Jesus as fully human, fully divine. You know the essentials. We say them in the Apostles' Creed and the Nicene Creed. In essentials, we're united, and we can't be united without those essentials. In non-essentials, however, it's liberty. How you do communion, how you do your church government, whether you have contemporary or traditional worship, all those things are liberty issues. You do it the way you want to, and we'll do it the way we want to. I actually like the idea that there are various different ways of worshiping God and, and different traditions that, that we use. None of them strike at the root of Christianity. And then finally, in all things, love. We're to love everybody, even people that disagree with us, even when we disagree with our brothers and sisters. Underlying everything is the call to love. Hey, listen, I love our church. I think we beautifully illustrate these principles. In essentials, unity will never compromise. In non-essentials, liberty, we're not going to argue over things that are not essential in all things love.